I remember as a kid going to different clinics uh, in the East Los Angeles area with my parents. One thing that really impressed me was just the care that they would receive from different uh, physicians. And that kind of perked my interest. I, I thought, well, I, I would love to be a doctor, right? To be able to help people out, to be able to uh, see a smile on, on the faces of their patients. I chose family medicine because of the variety of different medical conditions that you could treat. So, you know, in one room you could see a hypertensive patient, the next room you'll see a diabetic patient, the next room you might see someone who's depressed and you might have to spend some time counseling them and, and just being a good listener. You know, a few minutes later, you might end up with a, a, a school physical on a child. And so for me to be able to follow these families uh, through the years is, is a real treat. So as a faculty member here at the Pomona Clinic, I have the opportunity to precept residents, but I also am a, a director of the community medicine track to train physicians to be culturally competent, to be advocates for their community, to be leaders in their community, and to be able to recognize some of the health disparities that occur in our community so that we can launch them when they go out to their communities to be able to uh, make a difference in their own community. I'd say a good 70% of the time I am speaking Spanish to my patients. And I think that's important because when I was growing up as a kid, the physicians that I saw that were like a role model for me, they spoke the language, they understood the culture. That allows the patient to feel more free to be able to explain what their medical problems are. If they don't trust you as a physician, if there's no cultural connection, oftentimes patients are just gonna shy away and they're gonna look for another physician. For me, the most important part of patient care is to be able to meet the variety of different needs, not only the physical needs, but also the emotional needs of the patient. And then on top of that, you know, covering some of the spiritual needs of the patient. So to pray for your patient, to be able to be there as, a, as an advocate, to be there as a support, I think is very important. I think, it, I think it's part of the full spectrum part of family medicine.